Lambda functions are single line functions defined without a name. In this video, we will learn to create and use Lambda functions in Python with the help of examples. So let's get started. Before we learn about Lambda functions, let me create a simple normal function that takes an argument and doubles it. So on my code compiler, I'll say def double n, let me return n times 2. Now I'll test drive this, I'll say print double 10 and when I press run, you must have expected I get 20. This function has only one statement in its body. Wouldn't it be neat if you could write this one line of function in a more condensed way? Well, Python Lambda functions allow us to do exactly that. Let me show you what I mean. I'll go back to my code compiler and here let me first comment this line. Now I'll create a variable called double, so I'll say double equals and I'll assign a lambda function to this variable. So to assign a lam lambda function, I'll say l a m b d a lambda, then the function parameter which is n followed by a colon and then the return value which is n times 2. Let me run this code again. So when I press run, I get the same value as before. Here n that is before the colon is the parameter that is needed by the function. If we need, we can pass multiple parameters as well by separating them with commas just like with normal functions. And the part after the colon is the return value of the function. Also notice that the lambda function doesn't have any name. That's why lambda functions are also called anonymous functions. The one thing you need to remember about lambda function is that it can take any number of arguments but can only have one expression. Now let's try to create a lambda function with multiple arguments. I will create a lambda function that returns the larger among two numbers. So here I can say larger equals lambda and I'll call the arguments a and b. So I can say a and b are the two numbers and I'll return a if a is greater than b, otherwise I'll return b. Now let me call this lambda function. So here I'll say print larger of 10 and 47. When I run this code, you can see that 47, which is the larger number, is returned and printed. By the way, if you're finding this video useful, a sub to the channel would be much appreciated. Before moving to the next section of the video, the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easier to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes, and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description. At this point, you must be wondering when to use Lambda functions. Let me show you one more example where I will use the lambda function as a key to sort a list in a custom way. Suppose we have a list like this. To sort this list alphabetically, we use the lists sort method. Let me demonstrate this. So here I'll say names.sort and now if I print the names and press run, you can see that the names were sorted in alphabetical order. Instead of this, suppose we want to sort the items of this list based on the length of the name. We can do this by passing an optional key argument to the sort method. Let me show you what I mean. So here I'll say names.sort and here I'll say key equals, now the key will be a lambda and it will take an argument. Now I'll return the length of the string. Now when I press run, you can see that the names were sorted in the basis of the length instead of alphabetically. This is because the sort method uses the length of each string as the key while sorting. As you can see, we didn't have to define a separate function for this small task. We directly defined the lambda function inside the function call itself, which made our code much more concise. Lambda functions are used more frequently with Python built-in functions like map, filter, and reduce. We will cover these topics in the next video, so stay tuned. That's it for this video. If you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository. I'll also put this link in the video description below. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.